we're going to be making a bump flask for a rotovap. So we start off by preparing your inner bump guard. So I'm going to take and pull a point. This way I get two points made at once. I kind of come here, get them glowing, grab an edge, stick it. Come back in. Warm it up. And pull a point. Separate them. Straighten that out. Got that running straight. Now we're going to come here and about an inch away from the joint we're going to put in a Maria. Now I'll start by heating up a spot here. And you see I'm kind of rolling the glass on top of the fire. Not in the center of the fire, but on the top of the fire. And I just gently start to push in a little bit. And I got this heavy, heavy bead here. Really make sure it's worked in nice. Come to my rollers and make sure everything is aligned. Come here, We're gonna pull this off at about two inch. It's kind of a heavy top there. Come here. Put that. Lay it up. Do another one. 180 degrees away. Lay that up good. Bring your top off a bit. Get a fire in the oven. What's really important when you make a bump flask is to make sure everything is running very, very concentric and parallel. You don't want any bumps in there. So I try to chuck up right on the joints to make sure everything's going to line up. So now I'm going to prepare the hole for this tube here.
Get a nice circle going. If you get a bump like that, you're going to have to just pull it off. You see how I bring my rod in like this, not just like that. I'll make it slightly large, and my Maria should fit just right next to it. Come up a little bit higher. Okay, I've got my Maria just inside of that. So the next thing I'm going to do is get really sharp and bring this glass down. So you can see I've got that on there. Now where I'm going to concentrate my fire is right here. I'm going to give a little bit of a puff. See how I brought that recession back? Now it fits, now it has to hit that fire again. Going to let it recess a little more. Push it in a bit. Now watch. You keep doing that, you're not going to lose control of that inner piece. It won't flop.
Well, one more bump here. And we're going to make this all nice and smooth. Come right back. Just give it a little bit of a blow. And we've got it done. Come out here. Tap this a bit. Make sure it's running straight. It's not. You can always adjust it. You see, as you come in, that's a pretty strong, hefty seal right there. And it's running very straight. Good luck with it.